Hey guys, and welcome back to my long play, actually more walkthrough for Orion Prime on the Amstrad CPC. This is part three, and at the end of part two, we had gone up the lift here to level two, the equipment level, but I am rewinding things because we failed to hack this computer, and I've had to go back and just redo this quickly to show you. First of all, there's an important log to pick up here. A log in the same room as this computer. Um, we last hacked this computer and it asked us for a login ID. We, that's all we have to do is put a login ID in there. Remember that, login ID. And then it just asked for a login. Um, so we um, went through the PDA, looked at all the logs, um, because each one of them will. Oh! Each one of them will have an ID there. See there, Dante G ID 64715. So naturally, I tried 64715 in the computer. And we went through all the other logs and all the other IDs, and none of them worked. <sighs> what it was is you have to enter the name, and it's Dante, as you can see in the top right corner there, not the 64715. Despite the computer here clearly asking for a login ID, enter your login ID. Then he just say just then he does just say login, I suppose. But maybe this was sort of lost in translation from the French to English version. But we enter Dante instead of the ID, and we're in, and we get some useful information on the vessel. Um, most important of which there it says permanent crew 281 make a note of that number that will be very handy later on um, it's worth knowing who the commander is which is JD Russell and uh, we'll be looking for various items related to him a lot later in the game and uh, yeah it says the damage report level 3 quarantine imposed yeah a lot of people think you can get to level 3 the lab laboratories um, and go nuts trying to get there through various different methods, thinking there's some secrets there or some tasks you need to accomplish. Well, it don't exist. It's quarantine. You never get to go to that level. You never get to experience or go around. It doesn't exist. Okay, so forget about level three. Okay, yeah. Move back up to the lift. Um, at the moment, the lift can only go up and down two levels. Um, it's on that power cell from our console we nicked from our own ship. Um, so it's only got limited power. So here we are. <laughs> Essentially, this is where we ended at level at the end of the uh, last video. You're in the hall of the equipment level. You feel an, an immense loneliness as you tilt your head to look at the breathtaking dimensions of the room. The walls are so tall that you cannot tell where they end and where the ceiling begins. There are several exits, but judging by the height of the doors, the one on the right leads to an industrial plant. Yeah, um, some useful stuff on this uh, room and level. Um, quick looking here um, you're in some sort of workshop on one side is the device that in all likelihood is used for the maintenance of robots and on the other side uh, is a warehouse where you can order various industrial components okay um, we're going to leave this room there's actually a log we can find on this corpse here but it will hope uh, help in the in the quest for getting the robot up and running but um, we are. I'm going to use that robot uh, later in the game um, in the reactor and missile area where there's high levels of radiation where it can do tasks for us. But that is not our quest at the moment. What we will be doing is um, a few things here. Right, we're going to need to get inside this door here in a bit. But first of all, okay, um, you are in some sort of shed, various boxes and cans of control, the contents of which you are unsure of, as well as a strange humanoid collapsed on the ground. You begin to fear the worst as to what has happened on this vessel. Okay, uh, let's first of all check the corpse, see if there's a log or anything useful. What you see chills your blood. It is not human, or rather it is no longer human, and you hope that it never was. Various gross deformities protrude from its face and chest. Its overdeveloped muscles bulge so much that its skin has torn apart in places, and you can sense an extreme uncontrollable aggression in its bloodshot eyes, a 
before it enters your head, arm yourself soon and get out of here. Yeah, there's nothing on that corpse. Um, let's examine the boxes. All that remains are some electrical components that are of no interest. But if we look very closely, there's a log there. So we'll take the log, have a quick look at it. Survival. Uh, da -da -da -da. Is there anything interesting in this one? Yeah. Can't find any anti radiation suits. Make note of that. Make a mental note of that. Mm. And remember what I said about the robot, which will be coming handy. But there's nothing there that's going to really help us solve a puzzle or quest. Just some nice background info. Oh, look what we found already. A crowbar. We will take that. There is no doubt that it will be a useful weapon against anybody who approaches you too closely. Yes, it flipping well will be. Um, you can use it as a weapon, definitely, and you'll be seeing some of that shortly. Um, you see two imposing containers, quite obviously containing explosive radioactive materials, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's nothing you can do that. I think you can hit them, and if you do it enough times, it'll kill you. Yeah. Um, but we've got a hatch here. Command to open the hatch no longer functions, pre preventing you from going through it. So, looks like we need to use the repair kit. And it's this little mini game time, uh, which I have no idea how to work it out. I just randomly click around and eventually I get a connection there. Device repaired successfully. While well, telling you how the handle may not look attractive, but it functions thanks to some DOI which should work throughout the rest of this adventure. Now I try to stay alive so that you can tell people all about your feats at dinner parties. <laughs> nice sense of humour in the game as well. But we'll go back down here. And what we are going back for now is the cell used to power the lift. Because we can now get up and down this, the, those two levels using the aforementioned ladder and hatch. So, you know, we're going to take the energy cell. The lift will be out of action now. Uh, but if we go back here. And then go up here. And back into here. Right. Okay, here we are back here, and we're now focusing on this room here. Uh, at the moment, the door refuses to open and let you pass. It's probably not the door site fault, but it won't open. You'll probably have to examine this problem more closely. That is a big clue there. Uh, we're going to do some more examining. There, can you see there? It's a compartment. It's really, really, really hard to find. It's not noticeable. But the clue is there. It says you will have to examine this problem more closely. Anywho, we're going to use an object first. We're going to use a crowbar on the door. The opening is sufficient for the crowbar to do its work. Yank, yank the crowbar about a dozen times as powerful as you can, and the metallic and the barricade collapses in a dreadful metallic cacophony. And I think we can go through it now. Oh yeah, the door refuses to open and let you pass. It's probably not the door's fault. Okay. So, um, let's examine the compartment. A miracle, the power supply systems on the Orion Prime are of the same type as those on board your own shuttle. This compartment, less well hidden than the last one, contains a slot for an energy cell, which you sh must surely know by now. Once again, the system that it powers seems to be located nearby. Well, let's put our power cell in there. See, it's slightly changed there, the graphic, it was black, and now there's sort of a 
brown and greeny sort of thing there. Anywho, let's go through the door. Your morale falls three notches when you see what is in here. You're in a small armory, which is encouraging, but it seems that your last hope of finding any living person on board has vanished. After barricading himself in this room, the man has committed suicide without thinking for a second that you needed him. How selfish. <laughs> okay, well, we've got a corpse, we've got a log here, we've got a gun. Looks like there's some nice guns behind that window there. Uh, anyhow, we'll, we'll start with the log, take the log. We like logs. Don't come near me, fuck off, you won't pass my barricade. I have everything that one here, peace, uh, gun, ammo. I'm well protected in my little armory. They want to enter, but I'm not going to let them. Surely they won't come back, eh? Ha 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 ha. Bang. Why would he write bang in his log unless he was uh, dictating it? Okay, an utterly useless log, uh, but you know the guy that died there was Mr. Womack. And let's have a little examine of him. There is no doubt this man died from a bullet to the head. You thought you would find a survivor here, but your hopes have been cruelly dashed, and you feel the loneliness wane on you a little, a little more. However, all is not lost. In one of the individual pockets is a car that gives you access to the electrical maintenance system. You take it without hesitation. Yes, there was a computer that needed a card on level one, which will be useful. Always examine things maybe a couple of times, just in case there's something you missed. Ah, uh, yes, we're going to do something to the, uh, with the corpse a little bit later on. Um, but there's a gun to pick up. Uh, it's a famous Magnum B22. Although it has been superseded, this weapon is renowned for its reliability and accuracy. Most police officers on Earth are equipped with it. Well, let's take the gun. You are now armed and dang, um, no, you're not. The magazine is empty. Boo! Not to worry though, if we examine these boxes, they're contained with ammunition. And you come back. You can come back and get ammo at any time you want. Yeah. So we should have reloaded our gun. Oop. And if we look at in our inventory, pistol. As you say it contains 20 bullets. So we get 20 bullets at a time. And that's the most we can carry. Uh, but you can come back here and re um, restock at any time. Uh, the window here. This armoured window hides a nice arsenal, assault rifles, laser guns and rocket launchers. However, you will not have the competence to use them properly and the window puts them out of your reach. Boo! Uh, the system opens the window, secured in a very specialised manner. A small sensor seems ready to receive a signal, probably from a road control, which you cannot find. Forget about trying to solve this problem. Uh, the, I've not found a remote control for this window to get these weapons and quite honestly you don't need them you, you'll survive but we'll be fighting monsters very very uh, shortly um, yeah I think I ought to take this cell because we'll need that again and uh, we'll be restoring power to this power station to the S space station relatively shortly right we're going to use an access card on the computer that demanded it uh, on the last part which is in here it's electrical maintenance isn't it and use a computer please insert your electrical maintenance system card use object select the card it works, the car reader emits a beep and the computer is now usable. Let's use the computer. Without an ounce of hesitation, you reactivate the primary power supply. The lights in the room dim for a moment as a characteristic and well-known sound of fully charged volumetric accumulators rings out. From now on, many of the electrical installations in this vessel will function at full power. Hurrah! fan fantastic. Um, do we need to recharge the cell? We, yeah. yeah, no, 
that's now fully charged as well. Right. Here comes uh, the interesting bit, guys. We are going down into the depths here. I remember all this mess around here. Something evil lurks around here. Shall we go? I think we shall. See you on part four. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho, out.